Okay. So we're going to move on to the next challenge of besides the LV2080 walk through series. And the next challenge is um, IH Emacs. So upon clicking on this challenge, you're going to see that there's a statement over here about um, a URL okay, that we need to navigate to. And from the statement, it says that there are backup files that we need to look for. Okay, so let's open that link. And upon opening the page, we see some kind of a business web page that offer a variety of services for team members. And as you can see, it's very hard to uh, do a deep dive into every section of the uh, web page over here. Um, but since the challenge uh, has, I mean, hinted about the backup, okay, and the name of the challenge, okay, has the word Emacs. Now, Emacs is a backup program, okay, it's a backup program actually, but it's editing. Whenever you edit a file with Emacs, okay, Emacs automatically creates a backup file of the file you are editing and it appends tilde to the end of the file. So to show you an example, let me grab the command line. Okay, so if I'm editing a file named um, CTF, okay, so if I'm editing the file with Emacs, the Emacs, okay, creates a backup file of the file I'm editing, and it appends the, uh, sorry, where's the browser? Okay, so it appends the file with tilde. So the backup file will be ctf tilde, and the original file will be ctf. So just naming, okay? That, that is what Emacs do actually, okay? That's the first thing you need to understand about the challenge, the name, okay? And here it's, say, it's saying that there are backup files that we need to look for, which means if I want to enumerate the web page over here and go over the files, go over the directories, go over the paths, I need to append tilde every time I need to look through a file, okay? Hope that's clear for you. Okay, so now we need to find a way to, to find the flag. We need to find a way to uh, figure out where the flag sits. So the first thing we do actually as a investors, we just view the page source to understand what's all this page about, okay? So here's the source code of the page. And long story short, if you scroll all the way down, uh, okay, so as you can see here, there is a path to the administration web page. So this is a clue that we need to go over to that directory. So let's, let's grab this, okay? Administration, copy that. And from here, we're going to slash administration. And since we are working with the backup files, we need to append tilde to the end of the file. Let's see what's going to happen. Mm, OK. So let's remove that. OK. So here, upon navigating to administration, you are challenged to enter username and password for the web page in order to be granted access to the administration panel. But actually we don't have the password and username for that. And that's when we're gonna click on cancel. Okay. That's when the hint over here, okay, comes handy. So we need now to search and navigate through the, uh, the browser over here, the file directory, in order to find the username and password for this. So 
let's remove that. And you know, in every server, Apache Observer, you have HTTP access and HTTP password. Let's try that. Delta. So it says forbidden. Let's try password. And it's also said forbidden. So we need to uh, find the actual directory that has the password or it has the username and password. So over here, if we uh, cancel this, uh, nothing. Uh, so let's go back okay, and try administration slash HD access delta. So again, it's forbidden, but if we change this to pass word, okay. So we have here the username, which is besides the TLD. Probably this is the uh, credential pairs that we are looking for, that we are after. So let's zero, this is the username over here, and here's the password hash. So we can go ahead and copy that and go to our friend, add this over here to a password file or a file, and don't forget to add the username, okay? And here's the password hash. And you know what, what we're gonna do here? We're just gonna use John and the file that the, the, the target file that has the hash we are, uh, we are we are cracking is password txt. Okay, since I have cracked this file before or cracked this password before, I'm gonna just show. Okay, so just don't use any word list. Let John the Ripper do the work for you. And here you're gonna, you're gonna find the password. So let's grab Performa and go to the file or so for the uh, uh, page. So the password is P and the username is Psites. Yep. And now you are granted access to the administration panel, which is all all about the the flag. This is the flag. And this way the challenge is finished. Okay, so the challenge is actually this challenge. I like this challenge. Okay, it tests the uh, the person or the uh, whatever the name is. Okay, on the knowledge of Emacs, how Emacs works by appending tilde to the end of the file whenever you work with a file as a backup. And then, okay, okay. The thing about administration, HTTP password, it's I mean very familiar to every pen tester. Every pen tester knows that there is HTTP password, HTTP access that they need to look through whenever they do pen testing. Okay. Now the uh, of course everyone is familiar with the cracking the hashes using John Derper. So it's pretty straightforward challenge. It's not that difficult. We're gonna have more difficult challenges all the way. So that's it for this video and see you.